What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel again. It's me, of course, the crypto enthusiast, Lightlager here, and today I'm gonna be doing my top five multi coin wallets for desktop PC. And these are mostly for Windows, some of them may have Linux and also Mac support. And I will be doing separate lists for Android and iOS wallets, and also for web wallets, and probably for specific coins as well, like. Bitcoin and Ethereum. And what were the criteria for choosing uh, this top five? Well, for the most part, it's the amount of coins that they support, the graphical user interface, and how well like the whole you know program pretty much work. Is it is it laggy? Is it ticky? Is it is it like giving you a lot of information? And you know, what is the security level as well? And the first one on the list is the Jax wallet. And I pretty much chose this for the list because of the amount of the coins that it supports. It's nothing like super interesting or extraordinary. Um, and Jax has been supporting their, you know, um, Chrome extension, which is pretty much like, uh, you know, a plugin that is a wallet like MetaMask, okay? And they put a lot more effort into that and also on the mobile version. They don't seem to put a lot of prioritization into the desktop wallet. And actually, to my understanding, also the desktop wallet doesn't support as many coins as the mobile and the extensions do. And what coins do we have here? Well, we have a lot of ARC20 tokens. Top of this, we have things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Dash, Shikaz, Dogecoin, Bitcoin Cash. And there's a lot of, obviously, as I said, ERC20 tokens here. And it's like an okay, I would say, in terms of like, you know, the amount of things that they support. They support a lot of the basic, normal, coins and ERC-20 tokens out there, but it's not this like extreme, uh, amazing, you know, uh, wallet, I would say. It doesn't give you a lot of information. What is the uh, um, amount of Bitcoins worth right now? It doesn't tell you that on the interface. There's also an exchange inbuilt in here with Shapeshift, so that is nice. A lot of these wallets actually do that now these days, so it's nothing like too remarkable as a system. And moving on on the list, we have the next one, which is called the Gorda Wallet. And Gorda is uh, something that I've been recently starting to use. I like the layout very much. Um, it's very clean, it's easy to see, and also it gives you a bit of information here. Like you can change the currency where it, uh, you know, from Japanese yen, the Swedish crowns, you know, Bitcoin, euro, euro, euros, rubble, uh, you know, the British pound and so on. And they also have, you know, some good roster of coins supported here. We have Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cold, Callisto, Dash, Degree, Digibyte, Dogecoin, Ethereums are here as well. And you can also add tokens. So that is a very important feature here. Not every wallet allows you to add your own ERC20 token. And what you need to go is to etscan.io and you just paste in the smart contract here and it adds the token. And this is a very important feature for those who are using a lot of tokens because that's those are the most utility aspect things of crypto right now. And obviously more tokens are coming on the way. And moving on, it has, you know, Grossed coin, Komodo, Lisk, Litecoin, Golden Qtum, Redcoin also, Waves, Stellar, Ripple, Verge, Seacast, and Horizon. And it's pretty good, I would say. There's also an exchange here. You have the change now, Shapeshift, and coin switch. So a lot of options. If you want to uh, think, you can also buy um, coins directly and send, receive, you know, history. It has all of it. it has a lot of security here as well and backups and everything you know it's a very clean design what i would like to see maybe in future is like ability to see what is the value of this coin right now what is bitcoin cash valued right now something that you know i think that the charts should be implemented to the wallets to a certain extent i think that will help the viewer or the user to get that information from one place without going into many places. That's my argument with a lot of these, uh, why I use multi-coin wallets, because I don't want to open up 
200 wallets for two different 200 different cryptocurrencies i have to have like at least one or two places where i store them right now i'm in a situation where i use like six desktop wallets and i probably have like another six in my phone and then i have a bunch of web wallets as well but let's move on on the list we have the Sato wallet and this is um when you look at the interface it's not really the best one out there what i like here is that it shows you the value money that you have in terms of the coins I also have Google Authentication. So when you log in, um, you just use your Google Authenticator and you get logged in. So there's a level of privacy or protection here and I like it. But I mean, the interface is a bit outdated. I, I don't necessarily like it too much. But also the good thing about Sato Wallet is that it has a lot of coins that I don't even know about or are very like more rare to see on these multi-currency wallets. We have like things like Bitcoin, Breakout. Um, there's a lot of the normal ones like Dogecoin, but there's things like Electra, Dollar Online, HTML coin. These are not like most necessarily the biggest coins out there, but they are supported here. Neo, that's getting really big, and I don't actually see none of the other uh, wallets on the list do doesn't support Neo, but Neo is going to be very very big coin and name coin and there's a good list of these things here and it's probably roughly around 50 or 60 if i count it right um i'm not sure is there support for the erc20 tokens uh, that is something that i have not looked into but that's probably something that they want to have in order to um, support it and if you want to start using Sato wallet um, use my email sugitalks.gmail.com as your referral and I will get a bit of a bonus in case and I do advise using multiple wallets because the, the, the climate is as it is right now it's just there's just not a one wallet that supports all the coins that you probably need so that's why I'm using six and also there's an extra layer of protection because if one get hacked you still have the five other okay that's smart play you have to decentralize your money as well okay moving on we have the atomic wallet and this is probably one of my favorites as well and this is um has a lot of different coins here bitcoin monero bitcoin cold it has the light coins all of these basic ones the more popular ones and it supports erc20 tokens so uh, you can hear at a token i've also talked to the developers they are planning to add neo to my understanding and also qtum tokens so uh, you're able to add multiple different tokens here and in the same way as it was with the uh Guarda, you just add the token contact address here and it will just automatically add you the coins and they also have a nim built uh swap system where you can swap coins to another currency um they also have exchanges here Okay, that is loading for some reason, but it usually works. I believe that they have a uh, Shapefly. And here you can even buy, you know, crypto with fiat. Okay, that's pretty simple. And also show you the history of the transactions. Uh, there's private keys that you can import. There's also an airdrop. Um, you will get tokens. I will have my personal code, which will get you 25 tokens on the description down below and also should be appearing somewhere on the screen right now maybe here right now and um, you can use that if you want to and as i said it supports erc20 tokens you can see there's a lot of them here already added and uh, obviously i don't have that many on this wallet especially but it's a pretty good wallet there are some issues that i don't like about it's like okay it shows you the value of the coins that you have right now but it doesn't show you the individual dollar value for each coin so let's say i have this small amount of bitcoin what is it worth in dollar it doesn't tell me anything and also if the name of the currency is too long it just shows you these dots you can't stretch the the layout out there's a different model that you can use obviously like this one which may be easier to browse but i don't prefer this one so um it's pretty good and also, the thing that I did forgot to mention about the Sato wallet, by the way, it did also have the exchange and swap coin systems in place. So those are very important who people want to have that feature. But let's get into the number one on the list, and that is 
the Exodus. This is the first Multicon wallet that I started using. I've been using this the longest. This is my favorite, um, you know, uh, wallet of the all because it gives you so much information. So first of all, we have, it lists the coins that you have on the very top. So we have the bad attention token, which has been rising like fucking crazy. Like, let's look at this. So when I received um, 16 bad tokens, it was $3.44. Now it's uh, $4.64. So it was like 17 cents or something. And now it's like 29 cents. So no, 27 cents. So it's pretty crazy. And it shows you the dollar value of each the token that you have on the list like this on the pin wheel. This is very neat. In terms of graphical user interface, this is what the other wallet should look like. Okay, this is the one that you wanna desire to go to. And also the amount of coins that are supported here are pretty long. It has pretty much all the same coins as the uh, Atomic Wallet has, so that is very nice. It also supports uh, ERC20 tokens, however, you cannot add your own ERC20 tokens, which is a problem. So here we can go through the list of things and they have also added information about each of the coin. I would like to know more about them. Having adding a bit of a snap of information about it makes it worthwhile for me to, you know, be looking into the coin. Do I want to buy it? What is it about? What is the concept of your coin or token? I need to know that as a consumer, okay? And in these other lists, like let's say the Sutter Wallet, I don't, I just know the name. I don't know anything else about the coin. I would have to go to research and stuff like that. These small tidbits are very informative. And you have also the Twitter website and Reddit links. And there you can have the Ethereum assets and they're probably gonna be adding the ERC20 token system at some point. And they've been adding them also in a, like a, uh, I mean, it has pretty much all the most important ERC20 tokens for the most part, the most used ones, the ones that have the most value. And I really like the logos. And there's also an exchange here um, and you can like switch, swap between. I don't think you can do it with the tokens themselves, but th there is uh, systems in here which, which are interesting. There's also a backup and um, it doesn't have, I, I think this is supported by change fly for the uh, no shapely I'm, I'm not really sure what the the exchange is for but i haven't used it it's not something that i use personally but that pretty much concludes my top five multi-currency wallets for desktop these are my opinions obviously i have not been endorsed um you know by you know showing these in any particular order i have not accepted bribes or money from these i love all of the wallets and I will use all of them because all of them have something that I need, okay? There's nothing wrong with using many wallets. And it's also, I think, security-wise, a pretty good thing. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for um, the other wallets that I talked about. So I will be doing the Android wallets, the web wallets, and Exchange, and maybe some other stuff as well. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the video. And I will see you guys next time on the next video.